First tonight at 5, crime is trending lower across the board in Springfield for the first half of 2024. Adam Woodbray joins us live to break down the numbers. Adam. Good evening, Paul. Now, the numbers that Chief Paul Williams presented to the City Council were based off the first six months of this year compared to last year. Like, for example, aggravated assaults are down 8.3% when you compare them to last year. But there is a lot of data to go through. Overall crime is down in Springfield. That's the message from Police Chief Paul Williams to the City Council. This is the back end of a three-year downward trend. Crime has trended down uh, since 2021. So I anticipated flattening at some point, and we're, I think we're approaching that, that uh, new baseline, if you will. Since the start of 2024, overall crimes against persons are down 3.3%. Um, murder, uh, deaths, uh, in the city of Springfield. First six months, we only had two. That's a significant drop from the first six months of last year. That's where the numbers can get a little confusing. On the department's website, it shows officers investigated four homicides in the first half of the year. But the data breaks those homicides down into different categories. Two fall under murder and non-negligent manslaughter, another negligent manslaughter, and the other was categorized as justifiable homicide. When it comes to property crimes, burglary and robbery are both down, but welfare fraud is up 66%, shoplifting up 36%. Car thefts also saw a big decline, so much so Williams thought the numbers were wrong. And then motor vehicle theft down 16%. Um, I had those numbers double and triple checked uh, because that is on the heels of about a 30%, 30 to 40% reduction over the last two years. Um, and I'm happy to report those numbers are accurate. The department made more arrests for heroin, opioids, and meth offenses. Williams says there is good news when it comes to drug use. A positive number of overdose deaths uh, have dropped dramatically. Um, so uh, less people are being harmed. Uh, there's a combination of factors. One, we're doing some aggressive enforcement, but also the uh, availability of Narcan across the community. And the chief also says that they got fewer calls for reports of shots fired last year, and they also confiscated fewer illegal guns compared to last year as well. Live outside of the Springfield Police Department, I'm Adam Woodbray, KY3 News.